This is Lamborghini's Huracan STO, which stands for Super Trofeo Omologato. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to try and explain that with five things you can't call this Huracan. First, hot. You can't call it that because, well, it's got a lot of winds on it. For instance, there are two here which are funneling air through the radiator up front, which is the central radiator, cooling it down and also increasing downforce. And if you move further back, there are vents here on the wheel arches and I think the piece de resistance, the scoop up here, which is not an intake for the engine. This is just to cool the engine. And aside from that, if you look at the engine cover itself, it's got gills on it to, of course, flow the air through and keep it cool. And last but definitely not the least, Naka ducts. Love them. Old school charm all over them. And of course, coming from uh, Daytona, very appropriate. So hot, well, it's cool, but I think the right word for this Lamborghini is raunchy. Heavyweight, you can't call it that because it has things like a confango, which is basically the hood and the fenders integrated into one piece. And that isn't just the cool part by itself, it's all carbon fiber, which is helping save weight. And that's not all. Windscreen, lighter. If you look down there, the alloy wheels, magnesium, lighter. And if you come further back, of course, you'll find that there's this engine cover that I spoke about. This is also carbon fiber. And of course, this rear wing is made of a sandwich construction. So basically, it's not using as much carbon fiber, which can get dense and heavy, and so saves weight even over there. So if you think about it, it is lighter than the Huracan Performante by about 40 kilograms, which is great. But you could consider it to be a heavyweight where it's required, which is high speed performance because with this adjustable rear wing which has got three settings this sharper wing you are getting better stability this increases downforce all the changes by about 53 percent road car you can't really call it that considering everything that's happening here for starters the track has been widened for what so that it fits better on a better road and well it's got only rear wheel drive so if you wanted that additional safety net of all wheel drive no you can't get that and well it's got rear wheel steering for high speed stability and when you get inside you'll find that you do get a sharper steering rack u-turns huh? and aside from that you get carbon ceramic brakes which are just not any normal carbon ceramic brakes these are derived from formula one and along with that you also get telemetry systems which are giving you brake temperatures up here for you to see stuck in traffic that'll be really handy won't it and along with that the engine note is also louder and when it comes to driving modes you've got three dedicated driving modes for the sto one of which is the trophy mode that's for track use it's also got a fire extinguisher. Race car. How can you call this a race car? I mean, it's got a conditioning system. It's got a touchscreen infotainment system. It's got, well, these nice Alcantara wrapped seats. And aside from that, you have a driving mode called rain mode. No roll cage here. So, if you even wanted for this car, you could get regular three-point seat belts instead of the four-pointers that are also available as an option. So I think Lamborghini is trying to strike that balance between being road and race. Last but not the least, when it comes to the suspension, you get the adjustable suspension here on the STO as well. Along with that, there is the STO mode, which basically is focused on road driving. So it is trying to strike that balance between being racy and being everyday road worthy as well. Cheap, well, duh, it's a Lamborghini. But the STO is five crores X showroom. And that's before you start specking it out and start paying taxes on it which might push it into a Aventador category. 
But if you ask me, for the pure Lamborghini-ness of it, the madness of it, the STO is pretty much worth the money. It's not like I have the five, seven crores required to buy one. That's somebody else's problem.